Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I have decided to get off my arse later on in the day and try and photograph the badger. Uh, I don't know if you saw my previous video but the previous video showed a badger set that is in my local area so today I thought I'd try and take some photos. Whether I'll find them, see them, I don't know enough about them to, or their habitat, or their habits, to, to know whether I can photograph them. I mean, most people can live to 100 and never see them, so uh, please join me and uh, we'll see if we can get any images or some video or uh, I'm not even sure it's going to be light enough to record it, but we shall see. It's all experimental, so come along and join me. Right, well I've set myself up. Right, I've set myself up to where I need to be for the um, for the badger's den. I uh, I'm just going to sit here now for the next couple of hours and. If I get some photos and some footage, I'll bring you back, or I'll just show you some video. While well, I'm filming here, um, this is hopefully where the badges are going to come out. But um, I'm keeping my fingers crossed, nothing, nothing as of yet. But uh, just a few interesting facts that the uh, European badger. Uh, which is the one that we will find in uh, in our country. They are up to uh, a population of 300,000 now in the UK, uh, which is a it is a good sign as far as I'm concerned. Basically, they they live up to 24 years, but typically more around 16 years. Uh, if if you didn't know, the the badgers' homes are, are called a set, and uh, each badger generally weighs between 4 and 12 kilos 12 to 14 uh, as an adult the uh, the reason why I've come out at this time of year is that hopefully there should be some young because um, their gestation period is kind of 9-ish months it takes uh, I think 7, seven or 8 months for the embryo to implant into the womb so uh, that's, that's why it takes so long. They generally have between 4 and 12 in a group. The European badger has been known to share their sets with rabbits and foxes, which I find quite bizarre. Um, they, uh, as far as I know, they just have one litter of cubs a year, which can range between typically one and three but I think it has been known to have five or six to pretty much just eat earthworms and large insects obviously as we know that they seem for some reason to love peanut butter their eyesights aren't too good but that is compensated by the acute hearing and an excellent sense of smell
can't believe it. Oh my god. There's three. You can only just about make them out. It's so dark, four. Well, that was an unexpected bonus. Didn't actually expect to um to get any footage today, so uh, I'm really pleased with that. I uh, I've got a little bit. I planned on flicking it to camera mode. Uh, when I did it, the uh, shutter flipped it, and um, they bolted back underneath. Well. I figured that I disrupted them once, uh, which is enough. I didn't want to keep disrupting them, trying with torches and moving, not moving. So I decided to pack up whilst they were already kind of um, back under the earth again. Uh, pack up and come home and try again another night and maybe set up a camera and a video camera separately. So there we go. Thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I have because phew, that's a first for me and I, I loved it. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, that would be great. And any constructive criticism is always, always greatly appreciated. So until next time, bye for now.